Thank you. Mama, why don't we just stay till Danny and Brandon get back? No, no, that's all right. But where did they go to in the cemetery? Just for a ride, I think. You saw how Brandon was at the funeral. Uh, Ted, Rosa. I remember the day Rosa brought her here for her interview. So do I. A very well brought up girl is what she told your father. Came so long ago. It was a privilege, wasn't it? To see that timid, shy little girl develop into a beautiful young woman right under this roof. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? does. I mean, how certain people can come into your life seemingly out of nowhere and give you so much and take something as well, and then you never see them again, for whatever reason. It, it just makes you wonder. What I wonder is, what is the point? I'm so sick of seeing beautiful things destroyed. I was hoping someday that Ted and Haley would realize but of course, those things that take so long to learn, those things that take a lifetime to happen, those are the things that can disappear in an hour. Not even. From one moment to the next. I suppose it's stupid to be angry about the way life has been lived since time immemorial. Then I guess I'm not very bright. I could help you unpack. You just you kept slamming the door. She wasn't home. Maybe she'd be here. Yeah, we used to come down here a lot together. Yeah, I, that pier down there. That's where we first met. I'll, I'll go with Jake if you want me to. It's a public beach. Jake, I don't know why it wasn't me. Should have been. <sighs> but they say that God looks after the fools and drunks. I, I was I was both of them. It wasn't God, it was her. I know, sweet. Because she never stopped worrying about you. Thinking that you couldn't take care of yourself without her. Go ahead and say it. You're right, I, it was my fault. I, I didn't see the van. I, I couldn't see three feet in front of me. Because of me, Jake. If you want to do something for me, grow up. Do something for yourself that counts for more than a pat on the back by your father. She gave her life for yours. Make sure it was worth it.
the glass cut for that first thing in the morning, okay? Thank you. I'll put the rest of the stuff away, all right? No, it's all right. I'll do it. You've taken up enough of your time. There's more than you know. You want me to go? No. It seems strange to say, but... Sometimes only you will do. <laughs> well, that's good to know. I didn't want to go to the funeral alone, but when Scott couldn't come, I didn't mind. I'm sure he wanted to. You know how emergency rooms are. But he didn't know Haley. You did. Honey, she was never real crazy about me. It was all right. <laughs> because she knew I was, and... She wanted me to be happy. Are you making a statement here? I don't want to get into that today. Okay. I want to say one thing. You're not alone. I don't think you might not have any family or any friends, but you're not alone. I only thought that once. I lost my husband and. And I was all alone in this hotel room. Suddenly, I was counting the pills in the bottles and eyeing the knobs on the gas stove. Then there was this knock on the door. It changed my life. It wasn't. This sweet young girl calling me Aunt Gina. She saved my life, Keith. But I couldn't return the favor. You took her in. You gave her everything she needed. I don't have any regrets. She knew I loved her. I just wasn't done loving her yet. Oh, mother says to go ahead for dinner. Something about paying some calls. Not one of her parents, I hope. You think she has nothing better to do than to harass your family, don't you? What, do you want to start a fight, Jeffrey? Because I if you do, I am perfectly willing. You know, I don't really care why you're angry. That's your business. But I do resent bearing the brunt of this. Yeah, well, I resent being constantly needled, so lay off. What? What, what did I say? What did Talking I say? Talking about how I was too close to her, you were too close uh -huh. to whatever was bothering you. <laughs> so now there's something sinister in every little thing I say. You know, I was trying to be considerate No, you. you were trying to suggest that my mother was the one planting mines around your damned oil oh, well. That is ridiculous. What are you, you know, talking about? Somebody out there who was just as close as you are to my family and to us has just died. And you're more concerned about Pamela's liability insurance. No, what I was saying was that whatever happened on the rig may have caused some added strain on Sophia, especially since she knows your father has been accused. That's what I was saying. What? By whom? By you? By the newspapers. I don't know. By anybody. By lots of people. I'm not saying it's true or untrue. You know what? Everyone seems to be more concerned about public relations instead of actually doing something about what happened. Jeffrey, people are out of work out there. There is an oil slick God knows how many miles wide, and you're more concerned about being innocent with the press. Look, look, she has set up a relief fund. She's out there visiting their homes right now. What more do you want? You want to, you want to know what your father's doing? Look at this. He's issuing denial. Look, That's what he's doing. This is not his problem. It's not even his oil well, even though he's, he's spent $25 million running it. I see. We're back to that, are we? All right, then you tell me. What more does the woman want? She wants to know what happened. Now, if it was an accident, that's fine. But if it was deliberate, I'd want to know who is responsible, wouldn't you? Yeah, huh? I would. I don't think she's looking very hard, though. Is there anybody on this list that drives like a silver or gray van? I didn't hear anything about that. The newspaper said it was a dark vehicle. No, Ted said it was definitely a van. Well, the police didn't think he was a very reliable witness at the time. Oh, What's this about the police? Oh, What'd you hear? I think you were going to show. Yeah, I had some place to stop by first. What about the police? No, it's nothing. We got a uh, list of names from the benefit. We're going over it, that's all. Uh, sorry, I was just wondering if uh, Gina stopped by. Can't you stay for a little while? Ted, the van you saw, was it silver and gray? Uh, yeah, I think it was. Why? Did it have a red stripe painted on the side? Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't remember. It was red. It had red. I'm not sure if it was lettering. It could have been. Oh, who was it? I can't be sure, but the guy. What's his name? Out. What's his name? Well, he got drunk and he left. Uh, they call him Blister, and uh, but he drives a silver and gray. All right, where do we find him? I can't be sure. He hangs out at some place called Cliffs or Griffs. I. I don't no, know. no, no, man. That's no, not the way to handle. Forget it. No, come on. Wait, wait, wait. He's right. Let's just call the police. Forget the police. You can call him when I'm done with him. Now, come on. Really. Oh, wait a second. Jeffrey, I don't want you to think what I think. I don't want you to agree with me just to agree with me. I don't want you to be any different. I want everything else to be different. You know, it gives me hope. No, it's just, it's more than hope is that when we're left to ourselves, we're fine. An empty house, 10 minutes, and everything's cleared up and we just, we move on. We don't get many chances though, do we? No. You know, I want so much for us. And maybe I'm unrealistic, I don't know. Do you want to move out? I'm not gonna ask you that. It was your decision to live here. It's going to be your decision not to. Yeah. Well, we still have the cottage. Yeah, we do. I don't want to stay here tonight, though. All right. I just don't feel like waking up in the morning hearing about death and oil and money and who did what to whom. Yeah, well, we, we may have to move a lot further away than the cottage to do that. Yeah, I know. I really want to take the car and go up the coast to Big Sur and just the first motel I see, just check in for about a week and just relax. And if you'd like to come with me, that's fine. If not, I understand. Okay. No. I, I just need to go to the office, take care of some things, and then I'd like to go by Johnny's, say a few words to Jake, and then I'll be ready. Okay? I'll see you there then. you need and, and when you need it. I'm trying, though. But if you tell me or you ask me, the answer will always be yes. I just know that. I'd ask you to stay, but I... Just... I know. You want to be alone. Yeah. Everyone seems to be forgetting that you used to be married to Haley. If it wasn't for me, you probably still would be. They can... No, just... Ted, listen. It was all planned, all right? I came back here with the intention of breaking up your marriage. And I did. And I apologize. Did you ever... Think that maybe you were the one being used? Huh? Like, there's nothing to apologize for. I knew. I mean, at least you were being above and aboard about what was going on. I wasn't. I did it for the attention. I wanted Haley to be jealous. I... I wanted to send her little messages, letting her know that if she, you know, didn't watch her steps with Jake, then I'd... That's just how we were. We were just sending messages back and forth. I mean, we could talk to each other from either sides of the ocean. I knew, and she knew too, that we would always be a little bit in love with each other. There's no name for that, though, is there? Ex-husband. Doesn't seem to entitle me to miss her as much as I do. You ran her over and left her there to die. Shut up. Who came with you? Nobody. Yes. 
It was an accident. I was messed up. I didn't see her. You're a liar. I didn't. You knew what you did, or you I, wouldn't have left her. Oh. I'll kill you. Sir, what are you doing here? Are you all right? Oh. Look. Hey, Dick, back off. Man. Back off. Get out of here. Now, man, you're going to jail for this. Get out of here. Back off. Get out, man. Let him pay for it. Yeah. Haley wouldn't want you to do this. Think about Haley. Think about Haley. Like dinner. You don't have to have any. I just want to do something for you. Humor me. I've never seen this side of you. Neither has anybody else. I think it's new, you know? Do you remember that locket? You can see me? Yes. <gasps> Are you real? I don't know. Well, I mean, they told me this wouldn't last very long. What wouldn't? Who? Oh, I'm not supposed to talk about it. Can you feel this? It's like a tingling. Oh, good. I guess that means I have some time. Haley, please don't go, baby. Oh, no. It's all right, really. You do, it, it's not what you think. I can't stand to lose you. You're not. Oh, there's no up or down or anything like that. There's a world. It's here, actually, but you can't see it. I guess right now I'm just in between. I miss the way I was, too. But they tell me that it'll pass. Do you like what I brought you? I gave this to you for your birthday. When you were how old? Twelve. Oh, I felt like a queen in it. I wore it to bed every night. It's just a locket. It's special to me. Open it up. It's my eighth grade picture. <laughs> Where'd you get this picture of me? Oh, Dad had a picture of you and him on the back porch at, in Atlantic City. I just sort of snipped you out and pasted you in. I was so young. I was your age. Haley, it's not fair. Everything will work out. That's all I can tell you now new for me, too. But I need you. I counted on you. You will have my conscience. You told me when I was wrong. Well, I mean, I didn't always listen to you, but I... I would if you stayed, I promise. I'll always whisper in your ear, Gina. You just won't hear me. Are you crying, too? It's just so confusing. I mean, I'm sad because I'm going to miss you, but I'm really happy. It's so beautiful here, like there, but only bigger. Like everything at once. Oh, I've got to go now. But wait, I'm sorry, I love you. Wait. I love you too. Mom? Is anybody here? Don't be frightened. I'm not. I don't go away. Well, it's not up to me, and I don't have much time. Open up the front of the Bible and look at your all's name. Emmett Capwell, Channing, Creighton Capwell. Grant, Mason, Channing. I, I, where did this come from? I haven't seen this in years. The attic. Look at your name. Theodore Wakefield Capwell. Haley Benson Capwell. When there's a date that you, uh, you were born, and the date that you... That I died. We weren't sure where we belonged. And Ted, I just wanted you to know that I know now the part of me will always belong to you. I'm lost. Haley, I, I feel like a part of me died. I know. And I know you thought it was your fault, but it wasn't, Ted. It was. No, no it wasn't. Everything's accounted for. What's going to happen tomorrow, what's happening today, you were just there. And I'm glad, because I was scared. 
and I didn't want to be alone. Forgive me. For what? Everything. Anytime I ever hurt you. Ted, I didn't know this was going to happen. If I did, I would have tried so much harder to be better. You are the best. There is nothing to forgive, Haley. Don't you ever let anyone tell you what we had wasn't love. Oh, I won't. Well, I think we're finished now. Uh, not really. I don't think so. I know it's hard. Haley, um... I, I want to change it. I mean, I know you can't come back, but I, I, I want to know something. Would it ever have been different for the two of us? I mean, was there time for the two of us? I could have done a better job if I had more time. Do you think it looks like one dancer? You take care of one dancer for me, okay? Jake? Jake, it's me. What are you doing here? Well, they warned me this might happen. I'm sorry. Wait. Did you come back here to mock me? No. Never. Why did you leave me? I don't know. It just happened. No one asked my permission. Take me with you. I can't. Jake, you have your own life. Not anymore. Not without you. You know, I thought I'd never see you again. Really, you just can't go away. I shouldn't have come back. I thought it would be easy to say goodbye, but it's not. You're even more beautiful than I remembered. You make me want my life back. I'd almost give up eternity if I could just touch you. Jake, you've got to live. You have to for me. Because there were things that I never got to do or feel. I want to know what it's like to grow old. Grow old for me, Jake. Sorry, my time's up. You won't see me again. No. But I will always be with you, always. You came back. I'm glad you came back. Yeah, that's why I belong tonight. You'd be happy to know they picked up that low life. They did. Yeah. This is terrible. You know, I'm the one who invited Hey, hey, home. Carmen, it's not your fault. It's only the guy who ran her down. Yeah, that's right. In fact, we all owe you and Ted for leading us to this guy. Come on. Glad you're here. Listen, uh, I was out of line on the beach when I saw you before. I, I shouldn't have said what I did. Oh, uh, well, I, sh I should have said more. Jake, I, I should have said how sorry I am. I want you to know, though, that I, I know how you feel. Because, you know, I, I, I lost her, too. Yeah, I know. Thank you. What a day, huh? scares me. What? Well, what do you think? Anybody, any one of us could die tomorrow. What difference would it make? Pleasant thought. God, just think if it had been me. I'd be furious. What have I done with my life that the average chimpanzee hasn't done? You dated a skiing instructor. 
Yeah, I'm not too sure. They didn't beat me at that, too. And if you're serious, and well, I'm not sure you are, but I guess the moral is kind of simple, isn't it? You try to get out of each day what you can, and if you can't, you come as close to it. Well, if I could have even one day, just one day like that, they could take me gladly. Hey. Hey. You're happy enough, aren't you? Oh, I laugh a lot. Sometimes a little too loud. Just ignore me, Daddy. I don't even know what's the matter with me. You finished? Thank you. Listen, if I serve dessert, will you promise to take one bite out of it and then rearrange it around the plate like everything else you've eaten? I'm sorry. It was very good. I'm I not just... offended. You know, sometimes I can't figure you out. Is that good or bad? You're like two different people. At least. You decide to be nice, and you are. It's not phony or anything. How do you do it? I, so I guess I have to be motivated. Motivated by what? I, I guess it goes back to being a kid, you know what I mean? I was polite and, and responsible then because it made people happy. And I guess I want to make somebody happy, you know? Well, I don't think that would work for me. Politeness isn't my strong suit. Oh, please. You want pointers on conduct? For me? No. I think I'm decent enough sometimes. Absolutely. But it's not because I decide to be. I mean, it's kind of like... Like it just comes over me, like a sneeze or something. And I should be better than that. You don't have to be better. Yes, I do. For who, the doctor? No. General purposes. I don't have anyone to help me walk the straight and narrow anymore. I have to rely on me. You can rely on me. I'll, I'll help you walk the straight and narrow. I'll be your guide to a better life, darling. Sounds dicey at the very least. Lesson number one, never insult your nearest and dearest, unless they insult you first. Sorry. You're right. I had such big plans. For Brandon and Haley, mostly. And, you know, we were going to have this wonderful life with, with a big house and lots of friends around. And I was going to be behind the scenes, sneaking and, 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 and scraping and, and stealing whatever I had to. And now I have to make big plans for me. Am I anywhere in this crystal ball that you see? I mean, do I have a close-up, or am I even sort of like in the background? I haven't gotten that far yet. And honesty, you know, is a requirement if you're taking the virtuous path. Even more important than politeness. <laughs> Sounds good to me. You ready for this? You've got to be honest with the rest of the world, too, you know. It includes Scott. You've got to tell him you can see. I know. You know, that's the one drawback in turning over a new leaf. You never know what's underneath. If you think you can threaten me today, you're mistaken. All I want is my 15,000. Go to hell. You've had 24 hours. I gave you 48. I've given you every allowance. I don't care what you do. Do anything. You know the police are offering a reward for information about uh, the explosion? I really don't think you go to the police. I've never been on the society page like you, but generally speaking, I don't like my picture in the papers, especially with the caption reading, Wanted for Questioning. And I could make a clean breast of it. I hired you to get Pamela Conrad out of town, not blow up an oil rig. Well, seeing as how there's no written contract, I guess the first one there to tell the tale is the one to be believed. I doubt you're going to be the one to do that. I am not naive enough to think I can get rid of you with 15,000. I don't like to burn my bridges, but it just might. After all, I could be asking for a whole lot more. We had a death in the family. 
time where Dad didn't get to the bank. Sorry to hear it. It's tomorrow soon enough. If the money arrives uh, in time to ease my conscience, it just might. You know, I could sell the paperback rights. Now the second Mrs. Capwell knocked off the first. And you think about it. blackmailed you? Yes. Because you told him to destroy Pamela's oil rig? Oh, no, Kelly, I never <gasps> wanted that. Kelly, what would you have said if I told you Pamela had left town? That's why you did it, Mama? What would you have said? Well, yeah, I, I would want to know why. No. You wouldn't have cared. You would have thought about you and Jeffrey and me and your father, and you would have said, good riddance, that's what I wanted. I wanted her gone. Who the hell do you think you are? Who gave you the power to decide who goes and who stays? Because I was doing what I've always done, just trying to protect this family. <sighs> what do you think? That you and your sister and your brothers lived a charm life? That the world is a rose garden with a lot of nice people just to take care of you? Your high principles and your carefree time wouldn't exist if your father and I didn't want to get dirty when oh, we mother, had to. Oh, Mother, how dare you claim you did it for me or for us? Because it's true whether you like it or not. And it's our fault now, Mother? No. No, it's not. Because no one needed protecting. You know, for all your superior wisdom, you're like anybody else. You're trying to shift the responsibility and it is not going to work. Because when Pamela butts in my life, I have no qualms about telling her to butt out. I don't need someone to destroy public and private property. I don't need an oil slick on my behalf. I didn't mean for that to happen. Then what did you tell him to do? I, t I, t I said I didn't want to. Oh, great. So whatever he did, you could, you could claim you were shocked and outraged about Mother. Pamela is an operator, but she doesn't hold a candle to you. Kelly, this is a nightmare to me. People are hurt, animals are sick and dying. I can't sleep and I can't eat. Then why don't you admit what you did? Because it's a lie. He told me that he'll tell them that I paid him to blow it up. Mother, what stretches the truth more, that or pretending you had nothing to do with it? Oh, God. I gotta hand it to you, Mom. I was defending you. I was defending you and Daddy. I'm like on the verge of breaking up my marriage. Now what? Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm leaving. And you're not going to have to hire somebody to make me. Who was that? Lionel. They're having a memorial service for Haley at Johnny's later. Come on. Take a nap. I'll wake you up. No, I... I'm all right. You didn't get any sleep last night. How do you know? Uh. I saw the lights on. What if you got x-ray vision? You live clear on the other side of town. No, I got a car. You drove here to look at my lights? No, I wanted to make sure you were all right, you know. I, it, I know it sounds crazy. I mean, people could have been strangling him in here with the lights on, but it, I don't know, it made me feel better. Well, why didn't you just come to the door? <laughs> well, I didn't know you were alone, you know. I mean... I am a glutton for punishment, but uh, I draw the line someplace. So when the lights went out, then I went home. And, uh, it's not the first time. That you came to look at my life. I mean, I this is embarrassing. I don't want to be telling this to you. Would you lie down? I never thought you could surprise me at this late date, but you say the strangest thing. Now you're making fun of me. No, I'm not. It's one thing to do something nice while I'm watching. It's another thing to go behind my back. And... You are way out there. Do you know that? I never do anything altruistic. It is not in my nature. I never do sweet things. I can. I mean, I, if, I, if I were doing something for you, it was because I was doing something for me. Why? The I... Because I wanted to. Because it made me feel good. But why? Because I love you. I must. I don't. Unless
must have overlooked something else. I just... Masochism, possibly. I mean, that passes for romance a lot. But I don't know why I would be here fluffing your pillow. I'm not your nanny, and I, uh, I don't think I have a fetish for fabric. Would you please interrupt me? Say something? Uh, huh? I'm not sure I should. Ah. It is masochism. You made me shut up. All right. Okay. A 45 minute nap. Okay. Don't watch me sleep. What? I've seen you drool. Keith. Hi. Okay. I'll sit over here. 45 minutes. All right. I was going to leave you a note. What are you talking about a note? Is just one suitcase? Baby, I really think I need to go alone. Why? I just do. Are you leaving me? Is that it? No. But you're leaving. Then what the hell is the difference? You're coming back. I don't, I don't know. Okay, look, I'll follow you. I'll come after you. Do I pass the test now? Is that what you want? Hmm? I'll come after you. What happened? Something happened. I don't want to talk about it right uh, now, Jeffrey. Three hours ago, we agreed our marriage was the most important thing on this earth. What could change your mind in three hours? Nothing. That's why I'm leaving. Because I don't want to stick around and see what will happen if I stay. <sighs> they don't make any sense. Baby, do you honestly think nothing can touch us just because we will it not Yes, to? yes, I do, well, I so do. so did I. We're not all that powerful, Jeffrey. We're not. I'm sorry, baby. Just please. Thank you. Never hard to find. 
head. I loved you as much as I ever loved anyone. I couldn't keep you. How can I ever be anything but alone, really? No, you won't be alone, baby. You won't. And someone very special is going to come into your life. I probably shouldn't tell you that, but it's true. Jean. Amy, I wish you could tell me what to do. I never know if I'm on the verge of something horrible or wonderful. But you do know. You're just afraid. You won't play the game because you're worried you're going to lose. You need me. And I'll be here for you, but I can't protect you, Gina. But I can try to smooth out the rough edges. Jake. You'll be with me, won't you? I know you can't answer me, but I know you'll be with me. I will, I promise. People die. Trees and grass die. Love doesn't die, Haley. I don't need anybody to tell me that. No, it doesn't. And sometimes that's the hardest part of all. To love him. You make me believe there's more to Goodbye. Please remember me. This part is over now. Latin children who have escaped the ravages of war come to the United States only to find themselves locked in camps. Their story tonight on NBC Nightly News.